Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this a brand new day. It is looking down in the notification tray of my Windows 10 install, 7.08 a.m., because I like to get started at 6.30, so it's 7.08, and it is Tuesday, the 9th of January. I need to go and pay for my storage unit either today or tomorrow. I got up till the 10th to pay for it, and then I've got to get it emptied out. Ugh! It's just a drain every month and I don't have a vehicle to get it emptied out. I don't have people to help me because my housemates said they were going to help me like five months ago. And so I got to get it emptied out because it's a huge drain on me every month. I But I don't know what to do. Plus I've got, I don't have any brake pads on my van and I need to have a belt replaced because it sounds terrible when it drives because of the belt. Ugh. It never ends. It never ends, but that's life, isn't it? It's the heat death of the universe where everything just fails and falls apart. And well, take a look at the world around us. Everything just breaks down. That's the way life is. Entropy for the win. Anyway, though, it is another day, a brand new day. And in the bin cage next to me, I have this poor, poor beset upon hamster. And I say poor and beset upon because this is not the first time I have gotten him up out of out of his bed and woke him up. And now he's just pancaked because he's confused and probably frightened and tired. This is like the, what I say, fourth or fifth time I've dug him up out of his bed where he's been just fast asleep. And then the next thing he knows, I dig him up because he's just such a cutie. I, I love this little guy so much and so I keep digging him up and then I confuse and frighten him and then it's like right now he's like well can I go back to bed so here he is here's the little Charlie slash Harvey I'm gonna pop him back into his bed now here you go little guy thank you so much there we go now he's gonna cover himself back up and go back to sleep I hope I feel bad about waking him up I, I don't sleep well myself and then here I am waking up my poor critters, poor little guys. I looked in Bobo's cage yesterday because he's on the bottom of the stack of, because I got, you know, they stack. And I can't put them all just flat so that they're all just flat on the floor. That would take up all the space in the room. So I stack them up against the wall, two here, two here. If I need to get down to the bottom one, I stack them up three high over here and then one high over here. Well, it was one high over here, and Bobo was on the bottom one over on the other side. So I opened up just to check on him, make sure he's okay. He's fine. He's drinking water. He's eating food. He's getting light. He's happy. He runs on his wheel. He does everything that's great. His crickets are still in there with him, too. So they're drinking the water that's there and eating the food that's there, and Bobo's not eating them. So he's got two cricket friends, and they're in the cage with him. They don't make cricket noises. None of the crickets that we've had, that we bought, ever made cricket sounds. Which, I guess, you know, since you're trying to attract a mate, when you make that squeak, 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 you know, cricket sounds, they're not exactly trying to find mates right now, so... I guess that's why they're not making cricket sounds. When we go into like Petco or PetSmart, there's always a cricket loose and you'll hear cricket noises coming from odd spots in the in the place. And that's cool. But on the whole, they've been very, very quiet. And so, well, I mean, on the whole, they've been like eaten by hamsters. And then I, I tossed a couple of them out the window. Why not? because all the hamsters had them and there were only like two or three left so boo out the window because I didn't want to kill them and the hamsters were done eating them they they're a treat they're not a a main staple of diet so I don't know why Bobo is not eating his crickets but it, that's fine if he wants to have cricket buddies then that's okay he's got two little cricket buddies in there with him and that's okay also down where Kent's, Kent, why am I still calling him Kent? Charlie's cage was down at the bottom there. There was, I don't see it now, but there was a spider between the, the cage and the wall. So hopefully it hasn't run off and gotten too lost or dead. And of course, the one spider with her egg sack is still in the corner because I'm still in a moral quandary over that. I don't want 
to have a whole bunch of baby spiders running around in this room. Neither do I want to kill the egg sac. But if I move the egg sac, I'd have to move the egg sac with the spider, and the odds are that both of them will die if I put them outside. So I can either kill the spider and her egg sac, or I can let the egg sac hatch and then have hundreds of baby spiders over there in the corner, which I would have to murder anyway, because you can't. It, that's like trying to, you know, scoop up sand with a fork and get it up out of a bucket that way. It's, it's not going to work. They, they run around. They, they try to escape. You know, it's survival. So I don't really want to kill them. I hate killing anything at all because I don't want to die. So I hate killing anything, but I don't want spiders in the room either. I mean, I want, I don't mind spiders in the room, but I don't want hundreds of spiders in the room. That would be just a bit more than my arachnophobia would be able to take. Thumbs up on that. Also, also, what the heck was I going to also about? I've been thinking about things that I wanted to talk about, and I just was going to go on to that one thing that I wanted to talk about. And boom! I am empty-headed all of a sudden. Try to remember some of what I was going to talk about. Part of it, I guess, is the twi twending. trending on Twitter. Remember, I do this all extemporaneous, which just means off the top of your head, in one long hot take. And a hot take is just where you turn on the camera, and then you start, and when you're done, you turn off the camera. That's what I do. I edit out. If I accidentally, like, stumble so badly that it cuts the flow entirely, I'll chop that out. If I accidentally say something that, you know, doxes somebody or is a bit too private, I chop that out. But only the stuff that is absolutely necessary do I chop out. I have no thoughts that everything I say is so important that it has to be preserved for prosperity. Prosperity? What is the word? Pro preserved for posterity. And I don't think that everything I do is, you know, and a first draft is a final draft. No, 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 no. It's just... I don't have the discipline to write a script. I mean, I could write a script. I could. It would be goofy and not all that clear, but I could. But I do not have the discipline necessary to follow the script. I, even now, even now, when trying to read things, if while reading something and saying it aloud, it strikes me as funny, I break right there, say something about that, then continue. Shouldn't do that. And, I mean, I don't just do that for the webcam. I'm talking about real life. So, I am unable to follow scripting. If I was doing stage plays again, I could do that. That's different. I don't think I could do stage plays at this point. You've got to memorize an entire play. And when I did plays, younger, when I used to do stage plays, I do not know why my hand is so freaking itchy. Oh, my God. Ugh. I lotioned up this morning. I lotion up my, my legs and feet, and I don't think lotion would make your hand itch, but good lord. My apologies. <laughs> I used to, when doing stage plays, I would start at the beginning of the, the script and just memorize my parts. I would just do the first part. It'd be like, well, sir. And then I would repeat, well, sir, until I could do it without the script, and then just add on the next line, and then the next line, until I could repeat it from beginning to end, complete, and then add the next line. So I would have the entire script of my responses memorized. And I could just start from the beginning, say all of my lines, and then be done. And then using that knowledge, I was able to follow all of the, you know, your, what? I've forgotten the words but at your staging so that you know you cross here you cross there you everything is timed and everything depends on the movement of everyone else on stage around you it's everything is blocked and staged and scened to, a, to almost to the second and so that's the way i used to do that now though with my depression my fibro my back injuries i really doubt that i'd be able to memorize any more than a couple lines 
But even at that, I mean, I'd still say goofy stuff. I'm that kind of guy at this point in my life. I've gone through a lot, and when stuff happens to you, like if you find yourself where you should have died, but through somebody else saving you, like when, oh, I had to kill the recording. It locked up entirely. Yay! <sighs> so at 10 minutes, I'm starting again. But let's see if I can even remember what I was talking about. The fact that my webcam just locked up entirely for a, a little bit there blew everything out of my head. I know I was talking about staging and all that and, and, and memorizing things, but past that, once I saw my webcam turn from a flowing video into a series of still shots while still recording my voice as I was just like this, the, the irritation kind of blew that out of my head. So I know I was talking about memorizing things. I can't exactly remember why. My sincere apologies. That's where my depression and remembering things and fibro and all that and my pain issues really drives me crazy because it is so easy for me to lose my conversational bread trails so I don't know what I was talking about or where in the conversation I came from. It just takes that much, that little to erase the trail and then I'm lost. Like right now when the fact that my webcam turned into a series of still shots I am lost conversationally. I cannot remember what I was talking about. My sincere apologies. I'll try to talk about some other things though, because I still have to process. I still have to bubble sort. I still have to wake up. I am going to go see my therapist again this Thursday, of course. I have like, hopefully, 30 visits left. I was approved for 40 visits once a week. So I would have liked a full year's worth, but that's okay. So I'm going to go talk to him. We're going to go see what's going on. I have been getting along well with my housemates of late, which is good. They still are not understanding money or do understand money and are quite happy to let me drive myself into bankruptcy every single month. But such is life. We're getting along well, and that's good definitely a good thing. I do like them. I, I do understand that things are not wonderful, but I do like them. They are my friends, so we'll see what happens. Yay. But past that, I've been playing games still. I've, of course, been playing the games on my channel that I wanted to play. I still have to get the... I gotta figure out the pen. I still can't figure out that bloody stylus on my tablet so I'm gonna just say to hell with that plug it all in see if if it does anything at all maybe it just needs the stylus to physically be there in which case why do they have buttons on it why isn't it just a stick but it, I mean it's got a click 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 turn on turn off thing on the top of it it's got a left and right button click on it it's got all this stuff and the tip that you've got to change and replace and it moves a bit there so it's not going to harm a surface and in the manual it says how to charge it there's no charging on that so why is there an on off switch why are there buttons on it my manual does not even talk about the model of the tablet that i have so i'm going to have to just plug it in and try to work it and if the stylus doesn't work then i don't know what i'm going to do so I hate being confused, but I am easily confused, unfortunately. Yay? Or minor yay? I like to make these things 20 minutes exactly. There's going to be no way I'm going to be even close because of the bloody webcam locking up again. Hopefully I'll be within a minute. Great. So I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments on my community tab so I can thank 20 to 25 people. Now when I go through and thank you, I'm going to be just thanking you for you having left a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now. After the video, I'm going to read comments, thumbs up everyone I read, answer as many as I can. But for right now, I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. So whether it was a good comment, a bad comment, and a different comment, the fact that you left me a comment is what is important. Thank you very, very much. If I mispronounce your name, don't disrespect as intended. 
I'm an American English speaker. We're not good at names. I'm better than most, but... So, even though I count on my fingers in ASL, I am... I know I lose track. That's why I say 20 to 25. So we'll start off with Paulo Carrera. Thank you very, very much. And then G... And there's some kind of looks like Japanese letters. Thank you very, very much. And dark... More Japanese letters. Dark is actually an A and an E put together, so I don't know what that symbol is called. Otto K, thank you very, very much. Emily Arayo, greatly appreciated. Mateus Balcher, greatly appreciated. Emily Peterson, thank you very, very much. The Rusty Nail X, thank you very, very much. Jung Tricone, <laughs> heck of a name. And Laura Davis, thank you very, very much. Big Daddy, thank you very, very much. Alonso Porras, greatly appreciated. Cadence McGuire, thank you very, very much. Velectro, ooh, V and Electro put together, very, very cool. ADHD Etard, AD, okay. Thank you very, very much. Ma Michelle, greatly appreciated. And Metaphysical Anomaly, I like the name, thank you very, very much. Kira Wira, I'm sure Hope, close. Thank you very, very much. Madi, greatly appreciated. Chidon Zero, thank you very, very much. Alex the Wolf, greatly appreciated. Talitha V, or five, not sure which, but thank you. Arno Polvord, I sure hope I'm close. Thank you very, very much. And then last but not least, Swiss Divinity. Thank you all so very, very much. As David, you get me out of my head, into the real world, dealing with real people, and that is an awesome thing. Thank you so very, very much. It is appreciated. What Leia stated, whether it is a good comment, bad comment, or a different comment, the fact is he took the time out to leave a comment, whether it was vile or not. So thumbs up and thank you. If you could check out my links down below, I've got like Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, Google+, all sorts of links. Well, just five, and I mentioned them all. So, But if you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron, that would be very awesome. My housemates don't seem to understand my Patreon, not Patreon, the GoFundMe campaign. They're always saying, like, we see how much money you get. I was like, okay, but I tell you, I go minus $400 every month. Every money I get through my GoFundMe helps bring me up closer to zero. The fact that I'm getting money doesn't mean I have money to spend. It's just bringing it so I'm not as negative. And no matter how much I explain that to them, they keep coming back with it. But if you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign to help me live, because you are paying for my rent and you are paying for my food, and I appreciate that to no end. I don't want to be homeless or become a Patreon.com patron, like one of these beautiful, awesome people, that would be very, very wonderful. But if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes. I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest, so thank you very, very much. If you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. And if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be very, very cool. Remember, I, when I talk with my hands, I'm just talking with my hands. I'm not throwing gang signs or trying to indicate white power or anything like that. No, this is just my hands. Because of my partial paralysis, I can really feel it when I move my muscles. And your brain loves input. And so moving my hands, I can feel my muscles moving. And when I put my hands into positions, it just... It's feeling, and I like the sensation of being able to move. That's all I'm doing. I'm just Italian. I talk with my hands. I doubt I have any Italian in me. My grandparents on my mother's side were both Scottish, from the Scottish, well, the Scottish lands, not from the Highlands. Who knows where? If you could subscribe to the channel, I can't remember where I left off. That would be very, very cool. I would appreciate that very, very much. But I would understand if you don't want to. My personality has rubbed people wrong my entire life. So if you do not like my videos, I understand. If you do not want to subscribe, I understand. But if you are down with it, I'll do my best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. So thumbs up on that. Well, I've got a reaction video coming up. I've got a game video coming up. If I don't fall asleep, hopefully a game video for my game channel, which I've got to get monetized. YouTube is supposed to monetize your channels after 10,000 views. I've gotten well over 10,000 views. So, of course, it's not monetized. <sighs> but if you could check all those out, that would be very awesome. I have no ideas how close I am to 20 minutes. I know I'm close to 10 here, but I'm going to have to chop off some. So... 
I'm only going to be close. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. And remember, you are a ghost driving a meat-coated skeleton made out of stardust. Dri not driving, riding on a rock that is hurtling through space. Fear nothing. So you take care. Have a great day. And I will see you on the flip side.